Hello guys, today I'm going to take you through how much meat we got from half of one of our pigs. We'll go through all the cuts that we received and then also try to put it in the freezer and see how much room it takes up. This is half of a pig. I just picked it up yesterday from the butcher, but I wanted to show you guys actually how much meat it is. When you say that you're gonna get this many pounds of meat, you can't really put it in, into perspective. So I figured laying it out on the counter and then trying to put it in the freezer was a really good way to show you guys how much meat it is. So I have my cut sheet here that we um, got from the butcher. So I'm just gonna go through all of the cuts of meat that we got and show them to you guys. So first off, we got 10 pork chops. So when you call in to the butcher um, to make your cut sheet, you're actually telling them what you want for each cut of meat. You can request different amounts of pork chops in the package, how thick you want them cut, um, but we just got two pork chops in each package and I think just the standard um, uh, thickness. But 10 um, packages of pork chops. So next is the loin roast. So that is right here. Pretty good size of roast. And obviously all of these depend on the size of the pig with the live weight um, before it's butchered. That's going to depend on um, how much meat you get or poundage you get in each cut. Next we have uh, ham steaks. So I don't like ham, but I love ham steak. So I had them cut it up and then I just put it on a nine by 13 uh, pan and put it into the oven and let it get a little bit crispy uh, and it's so good. But those are all of these back here um, on this far stack and they're just put into individual um, cuts. So I have three of them thawing out in the fridge right now and we're going to eat those for dinner with some sweet potatoes. It'll be really good. Next we have um, bacon and oh did I say that? We got 13 of these ham steaks. Next was the bacon and we got 12 pounds of that. So that is in these two stacks right here. And then, like I said, with the cut sheet, you can request how thick you want your bacon. I don't remember exactly what the thickness was that we got, but yep, they come in one pound packages. So. Next is the Boston butt. So that's this big chunk of meat back here. It's pretty big, but that's for only half of a pig. So Ryan and I actually got a full pig um, for our family, so we have two of these. That'll be really good. After that is the roast, so that is just right here. Another good size roast. Next would be sausage, and we got 20 pounds of sausage. Um, when you call in for your cut sheet, you can decide what kind of flavoring you would like in it. We just got the Red Country style. For your sausage, obviously you can do a lot of different things. We just get ours in one pound packages. We also do um, sausage patties, sausage links with different flavorings. We haven't done any of that but it's def because it's a little bit more expensive, but it's definitely something that we're going to try in the future. After that, we have uh, two spare ribs and they cut them in half for us. So, there's those. And then lastly is a ham hock. Okay, so I went ahead and emptied out my freezer because I'm curious as well how much room it takes in an upright freezer like this um, for a half of a pig. Normally we put our pigs in our deep freezer, but I wanted to show you guys and see for myself how much room this takes up. So I'm going to go ahead and load it and then we'll see how much room we have left.
perfect. I am pretty impressed that I was able to do this. But I just want you guys to keep in mind that this all depends on the live weight of the animal. So my half of a pig is going to be different than my parents' half or one of our other customers. Um, it all depends on the live weight um, is reflected by how much meat you're able to take home. So, and also this is like maxed out. There is no way you could put anything else in this freezer. So it's not ideal <laughs> for anybody that is going to take um, a half of a pig home. You'd probably want to try to put some in a friend's freezer or something like that if you uh, had no other, if you didn't have a deep freezer or no other option. But it definitely gives you guys a visual of how much a half of a pig is um, meat wise. And that's what I was wanting to show you guys and see for myself if I could do this and fit it all in one freezer. Thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a like and check the description box below to visit our website and see yummy recipes with all of these cuts of meat. Uh, we put out two videos every week on Mondays and Fridays and we'll see you in the next one.